Hello and welcome to another Optics Trade Review. Uh, this is the 402C model made by Holosun that we have here today. It belongs to the Infinity series, but first let's say a few words about the company. Holosun was established in 2013, so it's a fairly young company, and since then they have been manufacturing red dot sights and lasers. And because they've been focusing on these two fields so much, they've become very competitive in the red dot sight market. And they can be put side by side against even some of the, I don't know, Japanese or European red dot sights out there. And um, there is a common misconception out there with every product that a product made in China is basically of very low quality. Um, and Holosun is one of the companies that successfully break this stereotype. And they have also become influential in the field of red dot sites and also very innovative. What I mean by innovative is that they, I don't know, uh, introduced several features that were not um, typical for red dot sites before, such as green illumination, titanium housing, and all kinds of features. Their products are really packed with features that come at an affordable price. They have also been cooperating with a the American company Primary Arms. Uh, Primary Arms is famous for their uh, custom design reticles. One of them is ACSS reticle, which is very, very popular. And they together released a model, um, the 503G ACSS Parallel, which features the ACSS reticle. So this is also very innovative and the product is really, really popular uh, among Red Hot Sites users. And uh, the site also allows switching between the ACS reticle and a 2MOA dot. So packed with features, um, and this is just a, a few words about the Holosun company, which is really successful. And I'm sure that more will come out of the cooperation of them and Primary Arms, and they will also uh, release several new models in the future. Okay, now let's move on to the 402C model, which we want to analyze today, which we want to point out its features. So this is a full, full tube sight. Um, it is from the Infinity series, so we have parallel infinity tube and reflex when it comes to Holosun. And uh, in the category of full tube sights, we have the Infinity and the tube series. This is the Infinity, which comes with a quick attachable mount for the Picatinny platform, whereas the tube sights come with a 30 millimeter cantilever ring. Both are great for AR platforms, and it comes down to user preference of which one to choose. Um, so it's quite big. If we look at it, it remind, could remind us of a prism scope. It is 143 millimeters long, which equals 5.63 inches, around 40 millimeters wide, 1.57 inches approximately, and 70 millimeters high, which is 2.75 inches. And the weight is 327 grams. So the infinity sights are a little bit heavier, around 50 grams heavier than the tube series. As I said, all the infinity series are supplied with a QR mount for the Picatinny platform. Um, so we have this lever here, which locks into place where pressed against the base. There are also flip up caps that come with the product by default. It features a single piece aluminum housing. And at the moment, there are four model families in Infinity series. We have the 401, the 402, the 501, and the 502. This is the 402 model. And basically the difference between four and five is that models with four only come with a two MOA dot and models with five, so models with four with two MOA dot and models with five allow the user to switch between a 2 MOA dot and a circle dot. This one is the 402 model, which means it only comes with a 2 MOA dot. But this is of course enough for most users. Um, having a circle dot is just a bonus mostly. So the numbers, yes, the four I already explained and the zero two here basically means that this comes from infinity series. Uh, the second number usually refers to the accessories provided uh, if there is one here, um, you usually have kill flash filters and so on, but with Infinity Series, we only have the zero. So we, there is no model that would have the one as the second number. Okay, so basically, we've covered the, the numbers, now the letters. We have the C letter, which is, with all the Hosan models, signalizes that there is a solar 
panel on top of the device, which means that the device can be powered by battery or by solar power. Um, and this is also what I've been talking about when I said that Holosun is really innovative. Because the cell is on the top, we have the buttons for the regulation of intensity on the side, and also the battery tray on the side, which is the same with all the Infinity models. This, the, the tray can easily be opened with a tool that is provided in the box. You simply pry it open and there is a CR2032 battery inside. Um, another difference perhaps that could be pointed out here is between the 402C model and the 502C model is also in the size of the solar panel. This one has a little bit smaller solar panel whereas the 502 model has a little bit bigger one. Then we have the turrets which are capped and also secured with a wire so um, losing them is really almost next to impossible. Um, a really nice addition and one click is as with all um, or most red, red outsides made by Holosun half MOA so um, a half MOA meaning that uh, one click will move the point of impact for approximately one and a half centimeters on 100 meters and here on the turrets it is also written what kind of type they are. This one is a counterclockwise, this one is also counterclockwise. So rotating the elevation to it counterclockwise will move the point of impact up, whereas um, turning the windage to it counterclockwise will move the point of impact to the right. Battery lifetime 50,000 hours as specified on the internet and in the booklet. Then we have the IP67 protection meaning complete protection against dust and protection up to one meter of submersion water for half an hour. What is one of the most commonly asked questions when it comes to whole sun red dot sites is, and basically any other red dot sites for that matter, is why is my front lens tilted? This is most notable on the parallel models, here not so much because the glass is a little bit more inside so we have to look really precisely so that you see that the lens is actually tilted. This is not an error, this is normal, so we all re receive a ton of questions on, in, on this matter. Uh, why is it tilted? So basically when the LED projects a beam of light onto the, the lens it then reflects and uh, it has to be tilted so that it bounces into the user's eye regardless of the eye position in front of the ocular lens. This is why it is tilted. It also ensures that this side is parallax free. Uh, more about the front lens tilted can be read in most booklets and on the Holosun page under the FAQ frequently asked questions section. With this you get unlimited eye relief and what's also interesting and worth pointing out is that this can operate in extreme temperatures such as minus 40 degrees Celsius and it can be stored even in temperatures down to minus 50 degrees Celsius. This is a an indicator that this is a really durable, reliable site, very nicely made. Okay, now as far as, uh, this, is, this was as far as physical properties are concerned, now let's move on to the optical and illumination. First we have the auto and manual, mo manual mode as with every uh, whole sun red dot site powered by a solar panel. When it's in auto mode it means that the device will uh, will be powered based on the battery and the solar cell and the the intensity is of the radical is dependent on the ambient light. Then if you press the plus button for three seconds you go into manual mode where you can switch between 12 illumination intensity levels and two of them are also night vision device compatible. So uh, in manual mode you can also switch between a, um, I'm sorry, so this is the 4 model, you cannot switch between the circle dot and the, the ordinary 2 MOA dot. But if it was a 5 model, you can in manual mode switch between the circle dot and the ordinary dot by holding the minus button for 3 seconds. Okay, so when you look through, you can see that the colors are really natural, the contrast is nice. Uh, I, I don't know, it's really, uh, the optics are really nice. Uh, there is a negligible amount of tint, I would say almost no blue or yellow tint. Uh, the sight works on one times magnification, as all red dot sights do, so looking through is 
convenient with both eyes open. And of course the shake awake function, this one also has it. If we leave the side stationary for uh, some time, it will power off by itself, um, go into sleep mode with other words. And when we move it again, the dot will power back on immediately and we'll be ready to shoot again. Scope of the delivery. So we have, as I said, the lens cloth and the instruction manual. Then we also have the box in which there is foam so this can easily and nicely be transported around without the worrying that you might damage it. Two hexagonal tools, two spare screws also and a spare battery tray because uh, losing a battery tray isn't that impossible with hose on and of course the tool for prying open the battery tray. Very simple, you just insert it into the notch, press it against the device and you have it removed. So very simple, but you will need this tool to do this. Okay, so um, as regards the warranty, there is five years on the material, three years on the electronics, as with all non-elite red dot sites made by Holosun. And then um, the price, of course, um, the price, is really nice so it's 259 euros and uh, this is quite a product for this price so uh, optically very nice uh, very robust also with nice features such as uh, a solar cell secured uh, turret caps and so on so a quick detachable mount plenty of features for this money uh, okay we've reached the conclusion where we always enumerate some advantages and disadvantages and as with every um, red hall sun red outside uh, out there most of them so I will of course point out when it comes to advantages the the optics and the, the two MOA dot which is really really fine really nicely defined uh, the side is also very robust and there are 12 illumination intensity levels to choose from which is enough for every lighting condition even to night vision device compatible now as regards the disadvantages this site might be a little bit big for some tastes. Um, it is quite long and uh, lengthwise it is, it is almost on the level of a prism scope. So this might bother some users but some might be looking exactly for this type of site. Then of course the battery tray which can easily be I don't know, over, uh, over uh, tightened or um, easily lost. So uh, you do have a spare one. Uh, spare uh, parts are also available for purchase on the internet if you lose both of these um, and you will also need a this tool to open the tray with every other tool it will be a little bit difficult um, but yeah so um, this is a really really great red dot site for an AR platform and it is packed with features for an affordable price and definitely uh, worth buying if you're looking for a full tube site Thank you for watching. I hope that you found everything that I pointed out in this review useful. If you did, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our other videos because we have a lot of videos on mostly all wholesome products that are currently available. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.